Hello there. Uh, what I want to show you today here is some of the differences between the Cisco 7925G and the Cisco 7925G-EX. Uh, so Cisco makes this phone, uh, it's yellow, it's sealed, um, and the idea is that it's a little more rugged, and uh, that's what we're going to show All right, so here's the phone. I've ripped it apart. Obviously, uh, I've already ruined this phone. Uh, you know, per Cisco classifications, this is uh, for uh, this phone has the ruggedness and resiliency that is certified in for deployment in potentially explosive environments such as chemical manufacturing plants, utilities, and ref oil refineries. All right, so I took it apart, I blew it. I'm sure this thing is no longer sealed, but I don't work in an oil refinery, and I bought this because I was hoping it would be a little tougher, uh, and that's kind of why I took it apart. So over here. I have a 7925G, not EX model, just your standard 7925G. And so uh, really what we're looking for here is what's different between these two models and, you know, not much. Um, really the, all the same parts. This is going to be the same system board that you have over here. Uh, the Hermit MP second version as it's labeled on the phone there. So that's exactly the same uh, as far as the little piece here that connects uh, you know, your back of the screen to your internal speaker, it's all the same. Um, all the same molded parts, um, even the same rubbery stuff in the battery compartment here. Um, you know, color obviously looks a little cooler with the yellow one, uh, but it's the same material. Wah wah. Um, looking inside the phone, here's something kind of fun. Uh, whenever I take one of these apart, and I can only get so close with my phone here, uh, I get one of these and I call this a uh, phone pearl and it's basically a dust ball a perfectly round little dust ball and it comes out right in here so this is a part of the phone that obviously gets exposed because uh, that's where your charging contacts are and uh, you got to be able to charge your phone you got to be able to plug something into that uh, so it's also a great way for contaminants to get into the phone and I found that they make their way right here and get trapped so when your phone vibrates it beats them into a pretty little ball so, will this phone do the same thing? I don't know. Uh, I immediately took it apart right out of the box. Uh, but one thing I did notice here is there's a little square piece of rubber. It's, it's see-through, so it's almost invisible there, but it's right smack dab in the middle. Now that covers the uh, little mic input, and I'm assuming that is kind of uh, protecting the phone, um, or at least some of the electronic cir circuitry um, from the outside environment there. Uh, another very subtle difference I noticed was this keypad, you know, your standard rubbery keypad, uh, had a little more goop down here at the bottom. So where this actually is glued into the phone across the bottom here, that is sealed with like a white, uh, you know, like it looks like a lithium grease, but it's just a strong white sticky glue. Um, I didn't really see any of this in the rest of the phone. You know, I kind of expected to see that in the battery, or rather the, uh, external speaker compartment I didn't see that um, now that is a different model speaker uh, than what you have in your 7925G uh, I peeled them out kind of looked at them they look exactly the same so no nothing different here not sealed any differently um, you know this area is actually covered by this if you haven't taken one of these apart before and that applies uh, some pressure there that gets screwed in and then this piece actually fits on top and seals the deal there um, but obviously not a perfect world because uh, as my staff drops these into toilets or uh, tries to get the phone to drink Mountain Dew um, this is the area that ruins the phone um, you know a little just a little bit of a little bit of water comes in or Mountain Dew uh, comes in the back of that speaker or they set it down in something wet and it's pretty much a dead phone so that's really it. Um, really not many differences here. Uh, color, obviously the big difference, but as far as ruggedness, uh, this phone is no more rugged than your 7925G. So if you work in a chemical environment, I'm sure you have to buy this phone uh, per Zone 2 or Class 22 uh, regulations. But if you don't have to buy this phone, uh, you may as well stick with the 7925G. And if you're looking for durability, uh, my suggestion is definitely one of these, which is the Beaver Box. So this is the Cisco Unified IP Phone 7925G Ruggedized Case. Um, and this is actually made by uh, 
the otter people. So there you go, the otter box. Uh, great, great little cover. And this actually does seal the phone up pretty good, about as good as you're going to get. All right, so that's it. I hope you found this useful. Um, I had to buy one of these and tear it apart to find this out. So hopefully uh, I saved you some money.